Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. You've heard me say it before, but I'm going to say it again. Global positioning. GNSS, or Global Navigational Satellite Systems, have made so much of what we do so much easier, so much better, so much cooler. I mean, things like driving around. We used to have to carry an atlas in our car, or at best, print out a map and directions from, uh, what was it, MapQuest. But now, those days are pretty much gone. Uh, asset tracking? We can actually track our assets now. And what about autonomous vehicles or robots? Uh, I, my grandfather, I remember, had this robot. Really, it was just like a glorified toy car. It was shaped like a robot, and it had giant wheels in its feet. And you'd put a little punch card in the back, and it would ride around in a specified shape, basically whatever was on the punch card. Very cool for the time. And then we had line-following robots, you know, big black line, and the robot would follow that. But some of the magic is taken away because you've got a big black line there. And then we had collision avoidance robots using distance sensors. And they were great, but you couldn't really tell them where to go. They would just run around crazy like a college freshman at his first party, just trying not to run into things. Well, with global positioning, no punch cards, no black lines, no just running around crazy, you can tell your project, your car, your robot, where to go with accuracy down to the millimeter level. And it's amazing. But maybe you don't need millimeter level accuracy. Or maybe you don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars just to do a little GNSS prototyping. Well, have we got a solution for you. Introducing the new SparkFun GNSS receiver breakout, Max M10S. This breakout uses the ultra-small, ultra-low power Max M10S from Ublox. It's capable of concurrent reception of GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beto signals, and is accurate to about a meter and a half. It has a max update rate of 10 hertz, max altitude of 80,000 meters, max acceleration of up to 4 Gs, and max velocity of 500 meters per second. It offers velocity accuracy of 5 centimeters and a heading accuracy of 0.3 degrees. It has a cold fix time of about 24 seconds with a hot fix time of around 1 second, but it also has an onboard rechargeable battery, which will allow for a hot fix most of the time as well as keeping the real-time clock running. It's also extremely power conscious, drawing only around 6 milliamps to about 25 milliamps, depending on constellations and tracking state. This is great for battery-powered builds or builds that may not be in the most accessible of spots. Additionally, this u block receiver supports I2C, which makes it perfect for quick compatibility via its two quick connectors, so we don't have to use up our precious UART ports. Utilizing our handy quick system, no soldering is required to connect it to the rest of your system. However, we've still broken out 0.1 inch spaced pins in case you prefer to use a breadboard. For users that prefer to communicate over UART, we made sure to configure the UART pin grouping to an industry standard to ensure that it easily connects to a serial basic. And there's an SMA connector for that solid feel when connecting the requisite external antenna. Software configurability includes options like pulse per second, odometer, spoofing detection, external interrupt, so many more. And of course, our UBlox Arduino library offers dozens of additional examples. Now, you know I speak with genuine ebullience when talking about our global positioning boards, and that's because they're so much fun, they're so versatile, and they've become so accurate, so accessible, so easy to use, and we want to get them into the hands of as many people as possible. So while this is not our top-of-the-line board, it's a U-Blox module, and it's going to do great things for you. You're going to be thrilled with it for things like basic positioning project, or as a cost-effective option for rapid prototyping that will allow you to test out your design without breaking the bank. And Rockapella would have loved if Carmen San Diego had one of these. So if you're looking for a fast and simple entry point for global positioning projects, take a look at the new SparkFun GNSS receiver breakout, Max M10S. Pick it up over at sparkfun.com, and you know, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. GNSS has made so many things that we do. I take umbrage with that statement, sir. Now, you know I speak with genuine ebullience when talking about our global positioning boards. Let me fix that. I like, I like ebullience. Bam! I know. <laughs> yeah, I was a little nervous there going into the name. <laughs> Sparkfun GNSS receiver breakout, Max M10S. Man, I'm sure glad I got that right the first time in the first part. Whew.